Ha, ha, hello, how you doing here tonight, Tina? I'm fine. I'm sorry. I, 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 I have, I have to tell you, I got a little, little bit of a stutter. I'm sorry. That's all right. If I were to were, were, were to tell you that somebody was killing ki- killing people for no damn reason, that's based on some tomfoolery, what would you say to me? Well, I'd want to know who. Exactly, and you would think that that's wrong, then probably, right, Tina? Right. So you and I both agree, then, Tina, that killing people for no reason other than some made-up values is wrong, right? So if there was some guy named Scott that was just going around killing people, you and I would both probably try and prosecute his ass, right? Right. Exactly. Who is this guy? This guy is called... The U.S. government. The U.S. government. Exactly. Does that sound too radical for you there, Tina? Well, it's not something I deal with here. Well, I'm telling you right, 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 what do you have to say about that, Tina? Well, I'm sorry about that. I really am. Are you really sorry about that? Do you feel yes. the Do you feel the pain of those people that are dying? There's nothing I can do at this point. I'm at work right now. You know, this is not a topic I should be talking about on. That is cold hearted, Tina. No, it's not. That is cold hearted because my son was killed in Iraq fighting for oil and money. Hold on a second. No. Okay. Tina. I'm sorry about my stutter. That's alright. But my son was killed in Iraq for no damn reason. I'm sorry. For oil and money. Uh And I'm sure you probably voted for Bush. And you just helped my son die. Do you feel good about yourself? Do you feel good about yourself? I don't know what you want from me. I want you to tell me, do you feel good about yourself for voting for somebody that helped kill my damn son? I don't know that I did. But you probably did. You don't know that. Well, I'm saying there's a pretty good chance that you did there, Tina. All right, hold on just a second. Okay. Officer Bushy, how can I help you? Hey, how's it going? Who am I speaking with? My name's Jonathan. Jonathan what? Jonathan Clemens. Okay. What's your name? I'm Officer Bushy. Officer Bushy? You're already on the wrong foot, pal. Okay. What can I do for you, sir? I don't have time to waste. Uh, you don't. What can I do for you? Okay, so if I were to tell you, Officer Bussy, that there were thousands of people being killed for no damn reason, what would your response be? Sir, what's your address? My, what, what's your address? Sir, this is the police department, all right? Exactly. And I'm calling for a real reason. Right. Officer Bussy, I'm calling for a real reason, and I want your help. Well... If you want my help, you're going to have to give me your address. No, I got a problem. I'm going to ask, 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 ask you. You're going to have a lot bigger problem if you don't start giving me your address. I'm trying, trying to get your help there, Officer Bussy. And I'm trying to help you. Give me your address. I, I got a question for you first. Once again, give me your address, sir. I'm trying to ask your help, Officer Bussy. Do you, do you have an emergency? Yes. What is your emergency? There are thousands of people being killed for no reason. Where at? In Iraq! I can't do anything about that. Are you inside the city of Yes! Okay, what's your address inside the city of For crying out loud! 